The welterweight division has a history of holding the most destructive and entertaining boxers of all time, from Ray Leonard and Thomas Hearns era, to the Pernell Whitaker and Oscar De La Hoya era, and to the entertaining era of Mayweather and Pacquiao. There is no doubt the 147 division is action packed, but now is the era of Spence Jr and Crawford which is almost coming to an end, and fighters such as Boots Ennis are coming up. With a record of 20 28 wins from 28 fights and 26 KOs at the age of 25 as well. Boots is the future of this division. Being the number one contender of the IBF title for almost two years, Boots is going to get his chance against Errol Spence. So let's break down how Jaron Boots Ennis is going to beat Errol Spence Jr. Unorthodox boxing. Unorthodox boxing has to be one of the most unpredictable boxing styles to face in the ring. The ability to switch hit, hit from awkward angles is a special trait to have as a boxer. Boxers such as Prince Nassim and Terence Crawford are known as switch hitters. Boots is another one of those switch hitting boxers and looking at these clips of Boots you can see how he is constantly switching his boxing stance when boxing and what this does is this confuses your opponent as they don't know which stance you are going to box at which results in them not knowing which punch is coming from which angle. Boots must make sure he switches constantly against Errol Spence Jr. Counter punching. Boots is an excellent counter puncher and he needs to use this counter punching skill against Spence Jr. Spence Jr. throws a lot of punches when he boxes and his combinations are one of the best in the division. When Spence Jr. throws his combinations Boots needs to stay patient and aim and land his counter punches around the midsection of Errol Spence. By doing so, Boots will slow Spence with the counters to the body and counter punching your opponent makes your opponent think twice before punching. Errol is known to have an engine, so these body punches will be crucial for Boots. Just quickly, going to the gym every day doesn't really improve you as a boxer. You need to do that extra training that your opponent is not doing. This is why I have started a new way of training called boxing analyzing. What I will be doing is I will be taking clips of you, analyzing it, showing your strengths and your weaknesses so you can improve twice as quick as your opponent. This new training method is being used by so many boxers that I have worked with. Let me work with you and let me help you become a world champion. Here is my email which is boxingworld at hotmail Dot com. Just give me an email and let's get to work. And how about this? The first clip that I do for you is going to be completely free of charge so I can show you my work. So what are you waiting for? Send that email and let's get to work. Okay, back to the video. Cautious of Errol Spence Jr's body punches. Spence Jr without a doubt has one of the best body punches in boxing and definitely the best in his division. His relentless pace of throwing punches to the midsection of his opponents has slowed his opponents down in the later rounds and allowed Spence Jr to get the upper hand later on in his fights. Boots needs to be cautious of these body punches and use his movement and tuck his elbows in when Spence Jr comes forward as this will prevent Spence Jr to land those body punches and allow Boots to box the 12 rounds without gassing out in the later rounds. Short range fighting. Being able to keep the fight close range for a short fighter against a taller bigger fighter is very important. Boots is shorter than Spence Jr so it is very important for Boots to make sure he makes Spence Jr fight at his range. Hooks and uppercuts are Boots best weapons against Spence Jr so he needs to make sure that he lands those exact punches and he needs to prevent Spence from landing that strong dynamite left hand. That left straight from EJ has KO'd his previous opponents before so if he lands that punch on Boots he might knock him out. By coming in close Spence Jr's left hand will not be as effective because he won't be able to fully extend on the punch so Boots would take Spence Jr's biggest assets away from him.